Hello and welcome to a SwapBot Scratch tutorial. My name is Luke and today I'm going to show you how we can program loop to run left and right, how we can have some animation with this, and how to use all of that to make a simple game. Now to get started you need to download and open the file called loop running which you can find on our website swapbots.com. Make sure you've got Scratch installed and follow one of our earlier tutorials if you're not sure how to do that. Once you're ready and your screen looks like mine, you've got the loop running Scratch game open and we've got a picture of loop, then we're ready to go. So first of all, if you're familiar with the Swapbot story, and if not, then why not go ahead and read it? But if you know the story, you should recognize that Loop is in the cave. It's in that part of the story where he's got himself lost and Moby is coming to rescue him. So he's in the cave. He's wearing the uh, sonar goggles that Switch made for him. And if you remember, he needs to run away. But right now, if I press the arrow keys on the keyboard, so I'm pressing those keys, well, he's not going anywhere at all. So we need to do some coding to get him running. Now, how do we do that? Let's start off. I'm going to go to the events blocks over here, and I'm going to use the when key pressed block. I'm going to drag that over into our coding space and not space, I don't want to use the space bar, I want to use the right arrow key. So when the right arrow key is pressed, I want loop to start moving. Now how do we get him moving? Well anything to do with moving, you can find under motion, which is to do with moving, and because I want to move him right, I'm going to change his X position. Now if you've learnt about graphs in maths, then perhaps you know there's an X and Y axis. Now the X axis runs across left and right and the Y axis moves up and down. Now we're going to be getting loop to run from right to left so we're going to be changing the X position. Okay I can press the right arrow key now and he's already he's already moving um, but it doesn't look like he's running. It's kind of like he's hopping forward on one leg. Now, let's go to the Costumes tab, and what you can see, what we've got here, is we actually have uh, lots of images of Loop, and if we go through them quickly, it does look like he's running. So we need to use this in our scripts. So to do that, because it's to do with the way he looks, we go to Looks, and what I want to happen is for it to move on to the next costume. So now if I press the right arrow key, we can see, let me drag him back here, I'm going to hold the key down, and there it looks like we've kind of got a running animation. Excellent. So what's happening when it gets to this next costume block is, we can actually see on here, if I hold the right key down, it's going through all those pictures and appropriately enough when it gets to number six it loops back to number one so those pictures go round and round in a loop showing loop running okay well that's got him moving to the right um, one thing we can do we've got this number 10 in here I can change that number what happens if I just put number one in I'm pressing the right arrow key so he's kind of running, he's kind of moving, his legs are going very quickly but he's not moving forward very quickly at all and that's because this number one means he's moving just one place to the right, one tiny step and that's a bit too slow, we know Loop can run much more quickly. So I'm going to actually put this up to 20 and have him running, drag him back, have him running again drag him back. Now here's a tip, if you hold the key down too much and he runs off the screen and he's kind of disappeared, what can you do about that? 
Well, one thing you can do, go back to motion and find this block here that says set x to zero, double click, and that will bring him back to the position x is zero. We can see that up here, x is zero. So if you happen to lose him off the screen and you can't get him anymore, double click that and that will bring him back. Because the problem we have is that we can't get him running to the left yet. So I'm pressing the left arrow and nothing is happening. So let's get him moving to the left. Let's go back to events. I want to use this when key pressed and I want to use the left arrow. And this time I'm still changing X. I do want to change X, but I want him to run in a negative direction. So I'm going to put minus 20. That means he's going to be running backwards. Okay, so 20 takes him 20 steps forward each time. And this minus 20 takes him 20 backwards each time. Let's try that already. So I'm pressing the left arrow. Um, go forwards there, press the left arrow. Well, he is moving to the left, but he's kind of skidding along on one leg. Um, doesn't really look like he's running. So again, we need to use this next costume under looks. Let's get that next costume block out. And now I'm just gonna go to the right. And when I go left, well, we've got the animation, but he's still kind of running backwards. I actually want him to turn around. So how do we get him to face to the right or to the left? Let's go back to motion and you'll see this block here that says point in direction. I'm just gonna drag this over. Now it says 90 there, but if you click on it to make it a bit easier, it actually tells you what direction. So 90, that means 90 degrees. If you've uh, perhaps learned about degrees and angles in maths class. And this is pointing to the right in Scratch. So I want him to move to the left. So that's minus 90. And I'm gonna just, well, it doesn't actually matter where you put it. So I'm just gonna put it uh, there. So when I press the left arrow, first he points to the left. We change his position and we change the costume. Now I'm gonna press the left arrow and that's got him to turn around. But now when I press the right arrow, now we've got that problem in the other direction. So I also need to get him to turn around when I press the right arrow. So I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to slot it in there. It will work if it's here. Just show you. We want to make him point to the right. And now he's going to the right, going to the left. He's turning around and we've got the running animation. So yeah, you can see it doesn't actually matter which order they're in. Not really, not at the moment. So that will work. Excellent. So that's how we can get loop running to the left and to the right. Um, so that's great, but a little bit boring just running left and right. What we're gonna do now is see how we can use this to finish off a simple little game. And for that, you're going to need to open up another file called loop in cave. Uh, that you need to get from swapbots.com. Uh, once you've got that open, I'll join you again and we'll have a look at that game. Hello, welcome back. Hopefully you've now got the new game, Loop in Cave, open. Looks kind of similar to what we had before, but this time I'm gonna press the green flag and get the game running. And let's have a little look at what happens. Here we've got some rocks falling down from the ceiling. And if one lands on loop, well, it's game over. Let's start again. So what I would like to be able to do is to move out the way. But I'm pressing the left and right keys and loop cannot move. And the reason for that is, as you can see here, under the scripts, well, we have no scripts for loop. So, oh, it's game over again. So that code that we learned before to make him run left and right, you're going to need to redo that here to help Loop move out of the way of the falling rocks. So I want to see if you can do that on your own. You can um, look back at the uh, Loop running game that we made before 
and get that code into here and you should be able to help loop dodge out of the way of those so try that on your own um, if you can't can't quite get it right then I'll be back in a moment to show you how to do it but best thing to do is to pause the video here and try to do that code on your own hi welcome back well how did it go did you manage to get loop running left and right if you did then very well done if not don't worry I'm going to talk you through it again so first thing we have to make sure we've clicked on loop now I know we can't see him that's because we've got game over here um, but that's that won't really matter make sure you've got loop clicked on here and we're gonna go to events and get this when key pressed out and the first thing I want is when right arrow key pressed now if you remember from before the first thing that we need to think about is to get loop pointing in the right direction so I'm making sure that he's pointing to the right which is 90 degrees then I'm gonna get him moving by doing change X and I'm gonna put this number up to 20 so it's a bit faster he does have robotic legs after all and to get the animation running to get these costumes changing we're gonna go here to scripts and to looks and I'm going to use the next costume let's press the green flag and yes loops are running to the right but I haven't haven't got him running to the left just yet oh it's game over again now here's a little tip to make things quicker for you I'm just gonna click on the top block here and press the right mouse button and choose duplicate so we can make a copy um, so I've got an exact copy now and all I have to do is change a few things so instead of right arrow key pressed I want the left arrow instead of pointing direction right I want him to point to the left instead of changing X by 20 I want it to be minus 20 so he moves in the other direction and next costume is fine let's go to the green flag now he can run to the left and whoops run to the right and we can dodge out of the way of those falling rocks oh so perhaps this is the part of the story after Moby has come to rescue oops game over after Moby has come to rescue him he's given him these sonar goggles that switch made um, so he can kind of find his way around in the dark perhaps Moby is drilling through the ceiling and causing rocks to fall and loop is whoops game over again having to run out of the way excellent so here we've got a nice simple little game in scratch and you've learned how to make a character move left and right how to use a simple animation with next costume and how to make sure the character is pointing in the right direction so very well done and I'll see you again in another video where we'll make another simple game based on swap bots